you know, I was never quite happy with the services we have as consumers for data recovery. Data recovery is essential when you delete something even from your recycle bin. It's still there in your hard drive or SSD, but it's in a format that you can't directly access. So you need some recovery software to get it back. I had this really bad experience in 2019 when I accidentally formatted one of my friend's hard drive. It was a 2 terabyte hard drive almost full of data. I was trying to install Linux and I accidentally hit the erase everything and install button. I'm an idiot, I know. So I had to invest in one of the data recovery tools. I had to purchase the full version and spend weeks trying to recover data. We got some of it, but some video files were corrupt. Some images were corrupt. Even after getting a pro grade thing, it didn't work well. And in fact, something happened very recently. Just this last Friday, I accidentally deleted an important document that I spent around two hours working on it. And when I was done editing one of my videos, I usually send all of the clips to the recycle bin and clear it out. And it's only on Monday, today I realized that, oh, I deleted the file accidentally on Friday. So yeah, I had to open up the old recovery software that I had, which I bought in 2019. It's called the Eases Data Recovery Wizard or something. So I tried using that and um, try to recover the data. It did bring back several gigabytes when it was scanning. But for some reason, it did not bring up the right Excel sheet or the right document that I was looking for. There were two documents. Um, I couldn't find them for some reason. It went on for hours and hours scanning several gigabytes, but I couldn't find the data that I wanted. And even something that potentially seemed like the document I needed, I couldn't recover it properly. Now that's only partly the recovery software's fault. It's just, uh, it's, it's a mess. You know, the way operating systems handle recovered data, and the way in which applications deal with it, especially if it's a document and God forbid, if it's a video, oh bro, you are in for a nightmare if it's a video. Thankfully, I didn't delete an important video because it's almost gone. Only a professional data recovery service can help me at that point. Like that's what gets me. What is the key difference between a pro data recovery service and a pro software that we can use? I think the biggest problem is that we are running it on the same drive from where we are trying to collect the data. You know, the chances of it getting overwritten is exponentially more. Obviously, in a professional service, they connect to your drive remotely or they get the drive on site and connect it to a separate system with its own drives and own operating system separate from this one. And then they try to recover the data. They essentially create a copy and give you a new drive. That's how it works as per my knowledge. And the chances of getting most of the data out is much higher in that case, I think. But consumers like us, we usually have just one system. And even though there are dedicated services that are happy to bill you several hundred dollars a year, they don't work well. Funnily enough, I was frustrated with Eases and I was just about to give up when I found another software from Wondershare. It's called Wondershare Recoverit and it's a free software that allows you to at least recover up to 100 MB of data. That was perfect for me. I only was looking for a couple of megabytes and within a few seconds it found the data that I was looking for. This $79 paid software from Eases could not do something that this free trial version could do. Well, at least the Eases data recovery doesn't have a recurring subscription like the Wondershare uh, recovery does. It, it's an yearly subscription that you have to renew. And here's a pro tip. If you uninstall the free version, you will immediately be given a discount for the first year. Like it'll go down from $69, noise, down to something like 42 or 48 dollars i guess that's great you know money reduced for no reason and i think it is worth spending on it if you recover a lot of stuff around your house or around at your store somewhere wondershare recovery does work quite a bit well compared to eases so i think it's worth considering but here's my gripe with that as well like some of the data that it got was not directly accessible i had to play around with the file systems like change the extensions change the handlers and then finally i got it working so it's not a one-click experience like the way they advertise. So you still have to play around with it a bit to get the data back. And even at that, it wasn't the full data. I only got half of it for some reason. So I still ended up working for another hour to get back the data that I lost. I had to recreate it. Yeah, the recovery software that I paid for did not help me out. That sucks. So here's what I'm trying to say. Like consumer grade data recovery software are never really that reliable. So I guess it's pretty much up to us then to make sure that we don't delete stuff accidentally. You know, try not to hit shift delete as much and just hit delete. And of course, review the contents of your recycle bin before you clear them. Like I clear them pretty much every day. I have this weird thing where I need to have the recycle bin empty. Like. I don't know, I like it empty for some reason. So I need to control that behavior because it's stupid and I lost a lot of data and one hour of my time today. 
And secondly, you can do best practices. You can use the technology you have. Like we have cloud services nowadays. Enable auto save on all of your documents. All you have to do is connect your OneDrive account and it will automatically save. You don't have to click the save button. You don't have to do anything. You can just close it whenever you like and you can pick it back up whenever you like because it's saved in OneDrive. And if you don't like OneDrive for some reason, you can use Google, right? Google has its own document suite. It has Google Docs, Google Sheets. Use them. They are really good. Do not use the old school methods of keeping the data in your drive. I learned my lesson the hard way. I mean, I was using Google Sheets and stuff, but for some reason I decided to do one thing offline. Well, that went balls up. So keep Wondershare, recover it as a last option. It can recover data pretty reliably under 100 MB for free. And don't do what I did. Don't spend money on these professional tools because they are not reliable. They do work for some cases but they don't always reliably work as I said so they may not be worth your money and if you have lost a lot of data like I did back in 2019 consider employing a professional data recovery service because they can do a lot better job. I can still remember the weeks that my friend and I spent recovering data from our own drives going through image by image video by video making sure that everything is fine and trying to fix the corrupted stuff. Yeah, this event reminded me of the trauma of recovering data. Like if you are a professional data recovery person and let's say worst case it did go wrong, it wouldn't hurt to have a 250 GB uh, SSD with Windows installed on it so that you can have the recovery software in this. So if your main drive goes you know, corrupt or if you lose data there, you can remove that drive, put this drive into your PC, boot into it and use the recovery software here to recover your drive which is now offline. Now I'm not a professional, I don't know if it will help or not, but I think having the drive that you're trying to recover not be the same boot drive, it may help a little bit. At least it will reduce the number of rewrites that you may do by accidentally deleting stuff when you are trying to recover things. That's one of the mistakes I did, like when it was still recovering files, I was deleting the stuff that I don't need, so it was actually overwriting stuff, so that may have caused a problem there. So check out Wondershare Recover It, keep it downloaded in case you need it for about 100 MB for free and let me know if you had any instances where you lost your data.